not too long ago, I was talking with someone and they said, I was on vacation so, in some place and so it was so nice to have the masses online because uh, we didn't have to go anywhere. We just got to be in our hotel room going to mass online. And I just was like, oh. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz and this is Ascension Presents. So, um, I made a video before about uh, the obligation to go to Sunday Mass. Maybe I've made a couple of those, but I've recently I wanted to revisit some of this a little bit because, as I mentioned in a previous video, I did an interview for a place called TheVeilRemoved.com and so it just kind of has a depiction of what happens at the Mass. One of the questions was, um, what if I don't go to in-person Mass but go to online Mass out of convenience? And uh, my response was kind of a, like a knee-jerk response. It was like, oh, that's a mortal sin. And I was like, mm, I should clarify. <laughs> but it's, it's not, I'm not wrong. It's not wrong. To do that, to avoid Mass in person and go to online Mass out of convenience is grave matter. That's a, it's a grave sin. Now, if I, you know the qualifications for a sin to be mortal. Uh, we've, we have a lot of videos on that. Um, maybe at least a couple. It has to be a grave sin, right? It has to be grave matter. I have to know it's grave matter and I have to three, third, uh, freely choose to do it. So if someone didn't know that, okay, then they had lacked full knowledge. But now you know that um, if I have the opportunity to go to Mass in person, I can't substitute that by going to Mass online. Now, I know a lot of people have said, have called, you know, written to me and they've contacted said, thank you for having the online Mass because in my country or in my area, it's still locked down. We can't go to Mass in person. Or to be able to say, I'm immunocompromised and I can't go to Mass in person. Or I take care of my grandmother and she's compromised so she can't go to Mass in person. Or I got sick this weekend. We all got COVID this weekend and so I can't go to Mass in person. Whatever that thing is, those are called legitimate reasons. That's not convenience. That's, that's convenience, but it's uh, convenience because I'm unable to go to Mass makes complete sense. But let's look at this a little more deeply because there are good reasons at times when we may not be able to make it to Mass. So how about when they shut everything down? Not able to make it to Mass. Um, what about when I'm sick? Not able to make it to Mass. What about this? What about when I'm too nervous to go to Mass but I'm not too nervous to go to Walmart? Or I'm too nervous to go to Mass but I'm not too nervous to go to the grocery store? or I'm too nervous to go to Mass, but I, I, everything else is back to normal for me. Now, again, if, if you're like, no, Father, I have good reasons. Believe me, I, I'm not coming at you. I just want to explain to all of us, make it really, really clear that simply avoiding Mass in person and going online out of convenience is a serious, serious sin. And we have to ask ourselves, is this a good enough reason? Years ago, we had a young woman working up here at the university and she is a rock climber. I don't know if I've told this story before, but she's a rock climber and, and she's traveled around the world climbing rocks and just one of her favorite things to do. She was at one point, she was in Thailand. She's on a little island. I don't know the, all the details. She was on an island where they didn't have a Catholic church, they didn't have Catholic mass. And so she said, well, I'm here for a couple weeks. I can't go to mass because uh, to get to Mass, you'd have to take a ferry like at four in the morning um, across the channel and then get on a bus and have a bus ride for like two more hours and finally get to Mass. And in order to be there on time, she'd have to get up at four to this trip. So she just said, well, I guess I can't go to church. I guess I can't go to Mass. And she was going to give herself a pass. And then she said, she asked herself the question. She said, if it was a rock climbing thing, I would do it. I would get up early. I would take the ferry. I would take the bus. And I would get to the rock climbing place whenever that time was. And she said, she asked herself that question. She had a gut check moment where she said, okay, if I'm willing to do this to rock climb in a really cool place, but I'm not willing to do this in order to get to Mass, to receive the Eucharist, to worship God, then fill in the blank. This is not a reason, this is an excuse. And so every Sunday while she's on this little island, she'd get up really early, take the ferry across, take the bus and go to Mass. Because it wasn't a matter of like, I guess I can't make it. It was a matter of, I guess I won't choose to make it. So for all of us, there are such a things as good reasons to not be able to go to Mass. The question I have to ask myself, and, no one, and maybe no one can answer this question for you except for you and the Lord in your prayer, are the reasons for any given Sunday that you or I can't make it to Mass, are they reasons or are they excuses? Again, as I said, possibly only you and the Lord will know the ultimate answer for that. But here's the last thing. 
I think it's really remarkable. You know, when we talk about the Sunday obligation, sometimes people can be really uh, negative about it. They can say like, oh gosh, obligation, you shouldn't have to do such and such. And, and I understand that. I mean, it's not like I'm, <laughs> <laughs> not like I'm this ogre who can't, I don't understand people. Um, I get it, I'm people too. But I don't know if we've really reflected on what are we saying when we say that if you are a son or daughter of the Father, you have an obligation to go to Sunday Mass. What we're saying at the heart of it is it matters to God if you're there. And it matters to God if you're not there. Like, I'm thinking about, have you ever thought about this? That this isn't just like a rule the church came up with. This is something that comes out of the heart of the Father. That he has let us know this. That, yeah, when you show up and worship me, it matters to me. And when you excuse yourself for no good reason, it matters to me. I don't know. It's hard to see it as an obligation after that. Unless, unless I just don't care. I mean, that, that's a possibility. Maybe I don't care what the Father wants. Maybe I don't care that I matter to Him. But my guess is, if you're watching this, if you're listening to this, I think you do care. I think He matters to you a lot. And I think it matters to you to know that you matter to Him. So the next time, you know, it's time to like, okay, make the decision. Am I going to excuse myself? Or am I going to show up? Am I, am I, am I going to give myself a pass? Or am I going to say, no, that's simply an excuse. To, act, to, to face the reality. It matters to God. You matter to God. And your being at Mass matters to Him. And your and my not being at Mass matters to Him. Why? Because you matter to Him. He loves you very much. And without you at Mass, it's not like you're... It's not like it's just like you're missing something. We're missing something. We're all missing something. Because as a church, you matter to us too. And it matters when you're there. And it matters when you're not there. Anyways, for all of us here at Ascension Presents, my name is Father Mike. God bless.